all about cataracts, something we all need to know about. I'm joined by ophthalmologist Dr. Roswell Pfister uh, from Brookwood Baptist Medical Center. Give us a call right now with your questions about cataracts, 741-9272, 741-9272. Uh, just to get us started, yes. give me the basic explanation. Okay. What is a cataract? Okay. I brought uh, here a uh, schematic of the eyeball. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I'll split it apart so I can show you the parts that are uh, key here. So that's half of it. First of all, the cornea is the front part, about mm -hmm. one-sixth of the front. This is not what we're dealing with in a cataract removal. Okay. The cataract is really the lens of the eye, which has turned cloudy with a variety of reasons, aging, ultraviolet exposure, diabetes, hypertension, obesity, okay. smoking. So this lens becomes cloudy. It doesn't come, become cloudy uh, immediately. It is a slow process. It's a gradual thing. So it's it kind of sneaks up on you, doesn't it? I mean, as far as knowing you've got it? Uh, well, your vision cannot be improved with glasses, for example. Okay. Now, the cataract, this, this lens and the cataract eventually is held in place by little uh, zonules. There are mm -hmm, little mm -hmm, fibers mm -hmm, that hold it mm -hmm. in place. So that is what we have to deal with. So when that's the lens we're dealing with. We, we have a caller. I, I want to be sure we get to their Yes, their it questions. is the lens. Okay. And uh, Let, go ahead. Let's, let's get our question from Please. Melinda. Melinda, what is your question for the doctor? Uh, I went to my doctor last week with, with what looks like an uh, oily smear on one of my eyes. Mm -hmm. And he examined my eye and everything and told me it was a floater. <clears throat> yes. And, and I've got lots of floaters in my eyes, but nothing like looks like a smear. Does that make sense to you? Well, it could. Um, the uh, What happens is that the back of the eye is filled with a gel, and this is just uh, an indication of what it is. As we age, the gel separates from the back of the eye because it shrinks. When it does that, it causes certain floaters to appear because it pulls off some minor tissue from the back of the eye. And it may be even more than just a little. And when that happens, uh, this may actually create a smear, if you will, in your vision, uh, but it is behind uh, the eye, it's, it's actually within the eye, I should say, behind the lens. So, so a it, smear wouldn't necessarily be a cataract sign. No. It, it, it could be exactly what her doctor was telling. No, but if she does have a lot of floaters, she should see the doctor, make sure she has a dilated examination to be sure that there is no damage to the Get retina checked. during that process. Okay. We've got one more caller. Gil, what is your question? If we, have we got Bill? Yes. Go ahead, Bill. Have we got um, it? I'm Gail. Gail, go ahead, Gail. Gail. Yeah, yeah, I haven't changed gender, but um, what is the difference in an optometrist and an ophthalmologist? Can one diagnose cataracts or something better? <clears throat> well, they're both eye care providers. Uh, optometrists focus primarily on refractive problems and also uh, fitting of contact lenses. They do have uh, knowledge uh, and abilities uh, to recognize disease processes. But uh, commonly, when that happens, the optometrist often works uh, along with an ophthalmologist and sends the case, uh, and sends the patient to the ophthalmologist for further uh, understanding, recommendations, and occasionally surgery. So uh, there is uh, overlap of what they do, uh, but the uh, surgeon and uh, the diagnostician uh, is the ophthalmologist. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for any issues you may have with your doc, with your with your eyesight, I guess bottom line, I'm sorry, we're running out of time. But check with a doctor uh, to be sure that you're okay. See an eye care provider. Okay, doc. Thank.